The Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, Yozuri, Evinrude, Lama Glass, and the Star Island Yacht Club in Montauk, New York. No weather report from News 12 meteorologist Rich Von Olin, but it does look like it's going to be a nice weekend as a cold front will push through the area late tonight, giving us winds from the northwest. Sea should be around three feet on the ocean for the weekend. The word from Montauk is that the fluke fishing has picked up south of the point with many fish over seven pounds like this one caught aboard the charter boat. Top Gun. And how about this for sportsmanship? Savio Mizzi, a contributing artist for the Fisherman magazine, caught and released a 10-pound fluke off of Montauk this week. And here is the video to prove it. Now let's check in with Mike Dean from Shinnecock. Thanks, Tim. Well, we came over to Shinnecock East today thinking maybe we get that first alley, but no such luck. Uh, still a lot of bonito, some Spanish mackerel around, which is definitely fun. Um, you know, there's some fish around, there's some bass and blues tight into the inlet. Uh, bucktails will get them mostly at sunset. Uh, first light off the beach has been a couple of bass, nothing, nothing too crazy. Been a little tough to get offshore, so there hasn't been much action with the tuna. Um, although I have heard Hudson Canyon's been kind of lit up. Still some bluefin at Coambra, if you can get out there, get a weather window. Um, Hamptons offshore last week, a lot of nice fish being weighed. Raised a ton of money for big brothers and big sisters. Nice job on that. And congrats to a uh, local Hampton Bays guy, not sure of the name, that won the Sportsman 31. So uh, this weekend, get out there, catch them up. Uh, you never know, these albies supposedly are like a mile offshore. So uh, they should be in any time. Um, just doesn't look like it's uh, too inviting to get out there. I'll show you the inlet now. It's a Hampton lady coming in. And as you can see, uh, seas are not really cooperating too much. If you're in the market for a cooler for your boat or truck, one that is reasonably priced, holds ice for days, and is made in the USA, check out Orca Coolers at Marine Mate in Lindenhurst. From the Great South Bay in the Fire Island area, here is Captain Al Lorenzetti. Hey Tim, just a quick Fire Island report here. Um, fluke fishing, pretty much status quo still, a couple of keepers every day mostly shorts, uh, but you know, still worth going out there and doing it. And uh, Spanish mackerel showed up, uh, had them one day right by the inlet and caught them on small jigs and stuff. And uh, I think we even had reports of them up in the bay. Occasionally you'll see one jump, but uh, so that's something to look forward to. Be ready with a light spinning outfit and uh, some 15 pound test fluorocarbon and a little cripple herring on the end and you'll catch them every time. So that's pretty much it, Tim. Uh, you know, Get out there, catch them, and have a good time. The West End Report is brought to you by Rachel's Waterside Grill on the Nautical Mile in Freeport. You hook it, they will cook it, and just for 12 bucks per entree. Call 516-546-0050 for all the details. Tyler, the bartender from the Kismet Inn, ran west and worked the cholera bank on Tuesday and reported back that there was nonstop action for fluke, but keepers were hard to come by. And in the mix were also some nice sea bass. Let's check in with Joey Leggio. Tammy, we're catching so much crabs, it's crazy. It's epic. That's right, Tim. Just like little Frankie here reported, the crab fishing, it's phenomenal. And it's one thing about the crab fishing, it's so good for the children. It's a lot of fun. Just get those big long nets, go to any of these, like the Bay Park, any area where the poles are, the docks, look down and just scoop them up. Also throw in the traps with some bunker in it, they're, they're, they're getting in the traps pretty quick. On to the fishing scene, fluke, sea bass, porgies, all the reefs are loaded. And now the tankers have a really good body of fish. A few buddies of mine hit the McAllister, had fish to over eight pounds. So that's really cool that these fluke are really showing in the heavy numbers and the fish are, are big, which is great. One of the cool things that happened on one of the reefs this week, I was out with my buddy uh, Mitch, looking over the side of the boat, we see a school of six fish come up, look at them, <laughs> and are you having fun there, Frankie? And it was a giant school of cobia, six cobia right at my boat, under my boat, grabbed the rod, cast the magdar, they wanted nothing to do with it. So with that, I said, um, Mitch, let's pull up the lines, done with the porgy fishing, let's go see if we can find some cobia. Shot over to the first bunker school, bam, there's a cobia sitting right on the bunker school. Casted a bunker chunk, he beelined right into the bait, didn't want it though, it turned off. Tried a few more schools, had some brown sharks, but that was it. So hopefully this week I'm going to get out, if I can find some eels, I'm going to definitely go target them and see if I could put a uh, New York cobia in the boat. Other than that, that's my report, little Frankie here. Did you have fun today crabbing? <laughs> Alright Tim, we'll talk to you later and uh, hopefully we'll get you out on the boat again. Take care buddy.
Be sure to check out Joey Leggio's Bluefin Tuna video. Now let's check in with Paul McCain from River Bay Outfitters. Hello, Tim. Here I am for my last trip, I think for the summer, here up fish for the smallmouth out in the Housatonic. It's such a short ride away, it's a great day. I'm up here with uh, Flats Tom. We're doing a phenomenal job on the smallmouth, fishing big, meaty flies. A lot of great fishing going on. Now, down on Long Island, I just heard of an albacore being caught out in Montauk. So it's starting to pick up. It's gonna be terrific out there. I, I feel it in my bones. This is gonna be a great year. A lot of bait in the back bays. There's still bluefish around. This is the dog days of summer, and yet we're doing extremely well. I'm also hearing of salmon are now coming into the Douglas Salmon Run. This is early. This is going to be a great year. I hope it brings in the steelhead, all those salmon bringing the steelhead. We are going to have a terrific time. If you like, go to my website, check it out. You know, we, we do have trips all over this area. Very short rides from Long Island. Fishing has been good. Tight lines, everybody. This is Paul. See you next week. From Sheepshead Bay, we have Luke Feeney. Thank you, Tim. Hey folks, this past week has been very hot, but in addition to the hot weather, the fishing has been very hot as well. The fluking has started to pick up again, and now the fish are being caught very well in the Scotland and the Fisherman Buoy area. This is a great place to bucktail in the rubble, with a good chance of picking a few nice fish. Live peanut bunker are a great bait to use in these areas. In addition, the collar area is starting to produce some nicer fish, and that is also a place where live bait works exceptionally well. An 11.4 pound fluke took the Stella Maris tournament this past weekend, and it was caught slightly northwest of the Verrazano Bridge in the channel. I bucktailed this 11.5 pound fluke yesterday, fishing in the upper bay on a bucktail while we were eeling for stripers. Ambrose is still a good bet for some nicer fish from now until the end of the season. The plugging in the back of Jamaica Bay still remains very solid every morning when you have the high tide. I have been fishing all the way back in the marshes behind the train bridge back by the airport, and there have been a ton of bass with some bluefish in the mix. All poppers and pencils have been working great. Speaking of the bluefish, there have been a ton of cocktails around back there, as well, a little, as, well as a little offshore of the marshes under the birds. It is pretty much every cast on whatever you want to throw at them, metals or plugs, it doesn't matter. There have been an insane bluefish blitzes in my very own creek in Garrison. Every afternoon they have, there have been a ton of cocktails in the grass, pushing spearing and peanut bunker. I visited the spot where I caught my sheep said this time last year, and I was not very well prepared. I had crabs, and I landed one striper, but I broke off three other fish, and I'm not sure what they were. I'm inclined to believe that they are around over there, back by the pilings that are made of rebar, back behind Floyd Bennett. That's it for this week. Be sure to get out there and do some fishing, and until next week, tight lines. Let's get the Staten Island report from Mike Manuel. Hey, Tim. Hey, fisherman. Mike Sancher here. Hope all is well. Well, guys, fluke fishing is finally picking up. The uh, local six-pack charters, they're reporting some nice size fluke. Everybody's eliminating out. My friend Chucky here got a 10.5 pound uh, fluke on a deeper end of water, around 46 feet deep. The porgies, finally some humpbacks are in the mix. Striped bass, summer striped bass. What can I say on the structure? You'll find them. Bunker chunking and life lining. So get out there, have some fun. And if you see a nice little bait ball of school, not bunker, sand eels or peanut bunker. Get your uh, deadly dicks out. Little lure, three quarter rounds. You likely to find some false albacorn bonito in the mix. Them speeds there definitely put up a fight. So enjoy the summertime guys. Have fun, stay safe, adios. This weather is the perfect weather for green flies and those biting black flies. If you're looking for an all natural solution to protect you from these pests, try Captain Ron's made from pure plant extract. So it smells great and it's safe too. From the North Shore, we have Mark McGowan. Hey folks, what a great report this week. I'm out with Gage, Gage is fishing and we're doing some jigging. We're gonna try some trolling. It seems like uh, these bluefish really came in and it's only getting hotter. Most of the fish are up to four or five pounds with some larger ones in the mix. And then there's bass that rolled in. So the bass are mixed in with this. Keep your eye out for some nice size fluke because uh, we started out with the drifts. Remember what we spoke about last week with these birds and following the slick. We're out here with the birds following the, the uh, tidal slick. It's got a lot of like 
little seaweed and grass on the top and that's great we're working underneath there you can see on the electronics that these uh, bluefish are pushing up the bait to the top right now in the bait we've got baby herring we've got loads of anchovies and there's a uh, little squid in the mix a little baby squid and you know that's bringing a lot of different fish in here so out in the Eaton's Neck Triangle area it's getting great if you're down by the Nessaquag River keep your eyes out the bluefish are moving in there as well and there's some been uh, a nice little bass bite going Going on at night you just got to work around and find your spots to the west over by the Cold Spring area uh, we've been up on the Centerport Reef there's plenty of porgies there. there's been no problems over by 15 off of Comset we're starting to see some fish activity as the small blues are moving in on these small baits along the shore it seems like it's a very early morning bite or go there in the evening and there's bass mixed in there as well listen this weekend is going to be the WICC tournament and the WICC tournament is uh, going to be Saturday and Sunday registrations are at our shop and uh, it's just going to be a good time. We're looking forward to seeing everybody out there. Again, if you have any questions, always call the shop and ask. It's always free advice. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next week. Hawaiian Dan is on vacation this week, so we go right to Kenny Cannon. Thanks, Tim. Northport, Astro, and Eans Neck area, the snappers are everywhere. It's time to get the kids down to the salt. Anywhere there's salt water, they're going to be there. We were chasing around in the boat for about two hours the other day. Uh, two or three pound cocktail blues. They're a little bit bigger, but all across the beaches up here, uh, Northport Bay, Northport Harbor, Huntington Bay, Huntington Harbor, pretty much anywhere where there's salt water, you're going to find them. Any kind of little shiny tin will work just fine. Uh, a snapper popper across the top and even some uh, spearing if you want to go that route as well. Also, the largemouth bass have been absolutely on fire. 17, 18, 19 inch fish have been coming over the side of my boat. Um, pretty often so that's another thing as well if you're looking forward to the weekend so for this weekend for me take the kids fishing take them down to the salt water let them catch some snappers it's a great way to, it's a great way to get them involved in the sport that is all for this week from the northport ash road in that area and we'll see you next week back to you tim if you're looking for a quality fishing boat one that's affordable check out sea pro powered by suzuki for less than 400 a month get you into all the action visit kale's family boating center for a test ride today Offshore Karen Oaks won the fight with this nice bluefin tuna caught 10 miles south of the Cambria. She fished aboard Captain Gary Bonneberger's brand new 28 Steigercraft. They boated three fish up to 110 pounds. Now with our offshore report, we have Captain Kirk Fay. Thanks, Tim. Hey, everybody. Uh, once again, I ran my boat out to the Coimbra area. Um, I was 10 miles southeast of the wreck on Sunday. Absolutely lights out fishing. Um, we had about 15 bluefin. You had some overs. You had some unders. Uh, most of these fish, once again, uh, were caught on Ronzi's, um, just dropping them down to the bottom. Fish were very concentrated in an area. However, on Tuesday when I ran back out there, um, there were a lot more boats and the bite was very much spread out. And it really came down to whether or not you can find the uh, the stingrays that have been around. Um, I'm calling them cow nose rays. I'm sure someone will correct me. But if you can find them, um, you're going to end up hooking up. The only problem with Tuesday was there were a lot of albies that you had to get through to find the bluefin. We only had um, two, two unders, but I do know of some overs that were caught. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen. The forecast looks uh, a little rough coming up. That may shut the bite down, but only time will tell. If you get out, be careful, and uh, hopefully I'll uh, talk to you guys next week. Now for the Surf Report with Fred Galifaro. Well, thanks, Tim. Sharks are drawing a lot of attention these days, especially at Montauk, where shark encounters are becoming increasingly more common. Uh, fish being bit off by sharks, and guys reporting sharks cruising in front of their rocks on the south side. Uh, one guy even knocked down uh, multiple times by sharks chasing bluefish in tight to the beach. Um, and they're also uh, picking live eels meant for stripers. So, uh, yeah, a lot of activity out there with sharks. Um, it's also down along the south shore. Don't forget, you can't target sand tigers or browns, which are also called sandbars. Um, they're off limits. Um, if you do get one, do not take it out of the water. Do not hold it up for photos. You're breaking the law. Just uh, get it back, uh, and let it go as quickly as you can. Best thing is probably just cut the leader and let it go, but don't drag it up on the sand. Um, 
There's, uh, there's still bluefish on the north side of Montauk. Um, that's primarily a daytime thing, and there are, there are some bass if you, I guess you can get through the sharks. Uh, the inlets, both uh, Mauritius and Shinnecock, but actually all the way to Rockaway. There's been a lot of activity with cocktail-sized blues, some up to maybe three, four pounds, some only a pound or even less. Uh, big snappers, for, uh, basically. Um, there's been bonita. There's uh, some real good shots of bonita on occasion. There's been uh, some Spanish mackerel also mixed with them. Uh, so that's helping to keep uh, keep rods bent down along the south shore. Uh, here in some bass and blues up on the north fork. Um, nothing very specific other than some guys are catching fish up there, uh, not given any locations. Uh, hey, just uh, yesterday, ASMFC announced. Uh, hearings on the uh, draft amendment 4 for striped bass, uh, the hearing for uh, our area, for New York, Lower New York, Long Island, is going to be on uh, September 4th, that's going to be from 6 to 9 p.m. at the uh, Division of Marine Resources building in East Setauket. Uh, that's your opportunity to speak up on what you want to see as far as the different options being presented. You can get all the details if you go to thefisherman.com. And also, don't forget the Fisherman Surf slash Inshore Show coming up September 19th. That's a Thursday night. And that, too, you can get plenty of details on that at fisherman.com. If you'd like to be part of our weekly video fishing forecast, we're looking for social media savvy anglers for hyperlocal reporting from around the New York metro and Long Island area. So if you're a captain, tackle shop, or just an avid angler, contact me at libayrat at gmail.com. Remember, like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we post a new video on YouTube. And of course, be a subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine to be part of the Dreamboat Contest. Until next week, this is Tim C. Smith for thefisherman.com. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude Lowrance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2019 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details now at thefisherman.com.